In this video, we're going to look at how we can multiply two bi binomial radical expressions together. You may remember multiplying binomials together with variables, and we would FOIL to do that. We can do the exact same thing with radicals, first taking the root 5 through this expression. Root 5 times 4 root 10, we have the 4 outside the radical, and inside the radical, 5 times 10 is 50. Then take the root 5 times the 6, root 6, 6 outside the radical, and 5 times 6 is 30. Take the negative 2 root 3 times 4 root 10, gives us negative 8 root 30. And negative 2 root 3 times 6 root 6 is negative 12 root 18. Now that we've done this, we can go through and simplify our radicals to see if there's anything we can reduce. 50 factors to 5 times 10, and 10 is 5 times 2. We notice the pair of 5's that can come out of the radical. The 4 was already out front, the 5 came out, and left inside the radical is a 2. For the 30's, 30 is 3 times 10, and 10 is 2 times 5. You'll notice there's no pairs this time that can come out of the radical. As there are no pairs, we can't simplify this radical at all, and so we'll just leave it as 6 root 30. The next radical has a root 30 as well. There's no need to factor it twice. We already know that 30 cannot reduce, so we'll leave that as negative 8 root 30. On the 18, 18 factors to 3 times 6, and 6 factors to 3 times 2. Again, we see a pair of 3's, so we can factor that out. We now have negative 12 times 3, square root of 2. Multiplying our coefficients together, we end up with 20 root 2, plus 6 root 30, minus 8 root 30, minus 36 root 2. And now to finish, we can go through and combine like terms. You'll notice the first and last terms have a root 2, giving us negative 16 root 2. And the middle terms are root 30's, giving us negative 2 root 30 for our final solution. Let's see if we can do one more example, where we FOIL out with radicals. Here we have 2 root 5 minus 3 root 6, times 7 root 2 minus 8 root 7. Foiling, we have 2 times 7, or 14, root 5 times 2 is 10. Multiplying by the negative 8 root 7, gives us negative 16 root 35. Now distributing the negative 3 root 6 through, gives us negative 21 root 12. And finally, positive 24 root 42. Now we just need to go through and see if any of these radicals can reduce. 10 is 2 times 5. That won't reduce. No pairs. 35 is 5 times 7. That won't reduce. There's no pairs. 12 is 4 times 3, and 4 is 2 times 2. So this one we'll be able to reduce and pull a 2 out of. Let's catch up with what we have. 14 root 10, minus 6 root 35, minus 21 times 2, pulling the 2 out, root 3. And finally, with the 42, 42 is 6 times 7, and 6 is 2 times 3. Again, in this one, there's no reducing, so we'll just say plus 24 root 42. Finish out the problem by multiplying the only coefficient we can to get our final answer, 14 root 10, minus 6 root 35, minus 42 root 3, plus 24 root 42. No like terms, this is our final solution. We see now that multiplying with radicals is much like the same as multiplying with polynomials. We can FOIL through, and then simplify any radicals where possible. As we do, sometimes we can even combine like terms.